It's Jim and Isman. Our friends over at EasUS has sent over a key for Rick Experts, a recording software that's new-ish. Anyways, we're gonna try it out and uh, see how it holds up against the other ones I use, which is OBS and uh, Bandicam. So it has some different features and stuff like that. Um, basically the regular stuff most of the screen recorders have, but also some other um, things included like players and stuff. Here we have a little full metric where we see the different things they have. And of course, EasUS Rec Experts own web page, web page. Uh, give it uh, check marks everywhere. Anyways, we are going to uh, install it and check it out. So it can be used to record games, record meetings, record other videos and stuff like that. So we're, we're gonna see how it looks. We can see this is very easy to install uh, and we are going to upgrade to the full version because if you click here, uh, you can see upgrade to full version and you can see that the free version, which you can try for free, um, it's kind of limited recording per like per clip is one minute. It's like you're not gonna do anything useful with that. Uh, so uh, it's a paid software. The free version is uh, so limited. I think uh, you won't get a lot out of using the free version. You can see here uh, why you probably want to have pro if you want to use this uh, software. In any case, 24 seven support. Wow. <laughs> All right. Anyways, um, there we can see that we should be entering our license. And here we go. Now we got the full version easy as that. So in any case, uh, we got some different options to record. Uh, we can select an area to record like this. Um, Bandicam has a similar feature. OBS has not. Uh, OBS is also uh, free, uh, but it only it's only free. Bandicam is, however, uh, a paid software too, and that also has that uh, little resizing function. Uh, so it's good to have if you want to uh, record like 1080p on your screen, but you don't want to record full. Anyways, we have settings here. And uh, we can set some different output formats. We have a lot of settings. Oh, they go together like that. If you just scroll down, that's cool. It's all in the same menu. I like that. In any case, we have webcam. So we can select my webcam. Oh, hello, there I am. And uh, we got some settings here. So you can see we can change the resolution. It's pretty advanced, actually. It has a lot of different functions. Um, it has more functionality than Bandicam, I would say straight off the bat like that. It's a more advanced software than Bandicam. Uh, it has a lot more options. So I really like this circle. We can make the opacity on the screen also, I don't know why. We can turn it around in case it's the wrong direction. That's really useful. I think this has... Uh, like OBS has infinite functionality, but it's a little bit harder to use. You need to learn a lot to use OBS uh, and uh, it's not as, as flexible. And we've got a little green screen guide too. You can see my green screen is almost cutting out properly, but we don't have very many options for the green screen. OBS has lots more uh, green screen options. Yeah. We have something called microphone noise reduction and microphone boost and I tried them out and uh, my microphone and surroundings are pretty set up in a good way for a content creator, you know. So uh, for me, the microphone boost and the uh, it kind of worsens the quality for me. Anyways, we can add a watermark and that's something that's pretty cool. Then I don't need to add watermarks in post. So that's pretty cool. So we can just add a watermark name it something, we can move it around and resize it, opacity and stuff like that. I think that can be pretty useful. If, I, if I'm gonna use this software to record tech tutorials, I think it's pretty useful to have it watermarked because I've seen some people stealing my tech tutorials and uploading them. Anyways, we can split the recording automatically. I don't know why you would do that. I think it's pretty useless, but again, I don't know. Uh, stop recording automatically so we can kind of record 
yeah, so I guess you could use this to start a task and record like a live stream or something so you can watch it afterwards. I don't know what else you could use it for. Anyways, it has a game recorder. Uh, we can select a game from the list and we have a webcam area too, so we can only use the webcam. Uh, it seems to have a little bit other area. We can change the background to studio. So my green screen is a little bit too small for this, but you can see it works pretty well, especially the uh, classroom. And I added my own image as, uh, as a background instead. I think it looks pretty cool, but the settings doesn't save to the regular webcam on screen. It's only for webcam mode, so I'll need to set this up myself again to the webcam on screen. So now I can basically record the screen and have myself in a little circle like this. I think it looks pretty neat actually. Um, it looks pretty professional. Um, I would like some more options for the green screen, however, because you can see it's like bleeding in the edges. That's not great. Uh, OBS could fix that, but you know, it doesn't have that functionality, rec experts. Uh, so that would be cool if that was added. Um, in any case, here we can see we got a little file browser, and here we have the area if you want to record, um, well, a web page of some kind. So we have commands F, F1 to F12 to record, but yeah. Anyways, uh, here we can see inside the file browser, which you saw I launched before. Uh, I record a little, little clip before and also from, from the software itself. And now you can see that we are trying to export it after we have trimmed it. So it has a built-in video editor too. And you can't like split and do advanced things in this video editor. So it's a very limited video editor, but you can change the playback speed. Like as a media player, it's pretty, it's pretty good. And you can extract the audio for some reason. Could be good if you wanna post process the audio. So it's not a, I don't think it's meant to be editing inside of this software very much, but you can edit it some if you want to. We can add a opening title too. So we can change the background like that, add a little closing credit. So I guess you could like record a lesson or a little video in this, but don't make too many mistakes because you can't jump cut uh, in this, I, or I haven't found how to jump cut at least. So yeah, um, it's, it's kind of limited like that, uh, but it has a built-in video editor, which is pretty crazy. Um, I don't think I will be using it much, but if that's something you need, it could be good. We're gonna look at these functions you see on the screen a little bit more in detail now, because uh, right now we're just checking the uh, uh, file for like export. So I wasn't sure which one I would have first. Anyways, we can move all the files we have recorded to our SSD and just move them to our storage space. Uh, we can also re we can also like delete a file, but we need to click delete local file. I don't know why you wanna wanna delete it from the program. That's kind of weird, but um, yeah, if you check the box delete from file, it will be completely gone. You can also go to where the files are. Anyways. Here we have a jump cut edited version of this recording. So we have something called whiteboard mode. We just check the whiteboard and now you can see I can write using these pencils on screen, just like that. And we can change colors, we can add arrows, we can have different thicknesses. And I think this is a pretty useful mode. We can even add text like this, but you can see that the recording software records itself, which I don't think it should do. So this mode is gonna be pretty hard to use if you only have one screen. So that's something to keep in mind, but if you have two screens, then it's really easy. You can see we can just put a box here, put a number. If we click here, this is gonna follow with it. So we need to click the clear button to remove it. Uh, so when you have recorded with this, um, you probably want to have a, like post-production and just jump cut all that out, or you could use a hotkey and pause uh, between when you like add and move stuff so it doesn't look weird. Yeah, so we can see I really like these little numbers here. You can just place them down like this, four, five, six. I think it looks really professional. Uh, and if you click um, 
the erase, you have a regular eraser here. It's like literally a whiteboard. Uh, so you can clear the whole page or do eraser. We can add some boxes and if we pause the recording between adding stuff, it will just appear. But I don't know, I, I kind of feel like this software is really optimal for having some kind of like online lesson. We can have in, even have the colors, not colored numbers like that. And if we check this little whiteboard, you can see we get a overlay with just white and then we can like write in stuff here. I think it's pretty handy. It's like, I think, I think this tool is optimal for like online education. If you're a teacher or something like that, I think it can be extremely useful. And here are the credits I added. I don't like that much, but you can add it. Now I test the game recording uh, with a webcam on. And I don't know if it's my computer, but uh, you can see I have these glitches with the camera. The colors are wrong, they glitch around, the overlay doesn't work. So I can't resize the window and it looks weird when I uh, export it. And it's even when I go in game. So the game recorded just doesn't really work for me. And uh, Rick Experts uh, updated the software between I did this. You can see when I have it in a box, even with not the square, it still gets squished. But if I remove the webcam, you can see it's perfect. If I don't have the webcam, it works. And I'm now recording an MP4 file, which takes a lot of uh, resources and it takes about 20% of the CPU. And that's pretty standard what most softwares use. I would however recommend other settings, which I'm gonna show you later. But anyways, the game recorder works really nice now, uh, but not with a webcam for me. So now I'm just stress testing the recording software and recording a really, really laggy game event just to make sure that the program and nothing crashes. And it doesn't, but I will tell you that I have some hardware problems with my system. So my computer isn't feeling too healthy. So these issues you have does probably not appear on most people because you can see when I take screenshots, my screenshots looks like this. And now they updated the software. Uh, and now you can see the screenshots are fine. So they did an update and that was fixed. Uh, and But with, if I take a screenshot with my webcam, I just get black screen. So I tried it again after update and see if the game recorder with webcam would work. And you can see it doesn't. And it might as well be my computer because I'm having issues with my GPU, but I don't know. I can't really say much more about that, I assume. Anyways, I would um, record in FLV and not MP4. That's my recommendation. And you can set the frame rate to uh, 144 hertz, which is pretty high. A lot of recording softwares will not let you record that high frame rate. Uh, but 60 should be the cap because um, it's the cap of YouTube. Anyways, FLV, will, uh, FLV recording will cause a lot less lag but larger file sizes. So this is what I would use, but the preset was MP4. So that's, that's what we have tested in this video uh, so far. But if I'm using this in the future, I'm gonna use FLV because it's uh, better quality, less lag, but larger file size. Anyways, we can record the audio quality in a higher level and I usually do VAV files with pretty high bitrate. We have a cool countdown before the recording starts and I think that looks really cool. Uh, gets you in the mood of recording. So I think that's really useful. Um, so we have some different settings we can add here. Um, and again, here we can see the F keys you can't change them beyond this you can change them to whatever you want which is something i would like and we can also add a marker on the mouse and uh, like click effects which is pretty cool bandicam has that too obs does not so yeah that's basically that i think it's a pretty useful recording software to record your screen the, the game recorder works fine for me but not with a webcam i don't know really why that is uh, but they have updated the software and I assume that rec experts uh, like on their system it probably works I know my system is a little bit weird and my GPU is about to give up so don't read in too much in this but um, I'm just showing you what uh, how it's working on my system 
So yeah, I don't think that Rec Expert's uh, game recorder is better than OBS because OBS has just a lot more functionality. But East US Rec Expert look really clean and nice. It's very easy to use and I think it's really good for uh, tutoring. So if you want that whiteboard, I think if you want to get this software, it's probably because you want this whiteboard function. This whiteboard function is the best I've seen so far. Uh, Bandicam does not have anything similar to it. Uh, so it really is good to record the screen. I'll probably record some future tech tutorials with this. Uh, and the footage looks good too. Now keep in mind that most of this is recorded with Bandicam because I can't record Rec Expert with itself. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this little video and if you did, check out the software in the video description. This is your host Jim Desmond. we are signing out. Bye bye.